uh, you are watching YouTube channel Bachelor and Master English and today we are going to talk about an absurd drama by Edward Albee. The title is The Sandbox. In today's discussion we shall be talking about the play. There will be a summary and discussion in Nepal as well and there will be analysis. Uh, before I begin my discussion I would like to request you uh, if you are new to my channel please heartily I request you please uh, subscribe my channel and if you think this channel is worth watching please recommend this video by liking and sharing so uh, this is the discussion of the sandbox by Edward Albee we are talking about the play. The Sandbox is a one-act play by prominent American playwright Edward Alvey. It was published in 1959 and produced in 1960. It is a trenchant satire on false values and lack of love and empathy in the American family. For his uh, expanded one-act play, The American uh, Dream, 1961, Alvey used the characters he created for the sandbox, mummy, daddy, and grandma, uh, as well as some of the play's dramatic material. The play is approximately 15 minutes long and involves direct address by the actors to the audience, their acknowledgement that they are performers in a play, and uh, the offering of cues to the musician in the sandbox the dreamlike quality of the events uh, lends itself to symbolic suggestion and it is through symbol we draw meanings uh, from the play daddy and mommy must wait out their lives without touching each other in any meaningful way and the young man as an angel of death suggests obliquely the nature of death which is not viewed as an enemy but as an actor uh, who has a line to speak the play attacks indifference to love pity and compassion and the characters live in a kind of moral narcosis the play received an almost universally negative reception as critics attacked the confusing absurdist plot Okay, here are the dramatic persona, uh, the characters in the play. Uh, mummy, 55, a well-dressed, imposing woman. She is the grandma's daughter. After marrying daddy, she brings her mother from the f uh, farm and into their big townhouse in the city. She gives her mom an army blanket, her own dish, and a nice place under the stove. The young man, 25, a good-looking, well-built boy in, the, uh, in a bathing suit. He is the angel of death, performing uh, calisthenics uh, that suggest the breeding of wings. He is from Southern California but hasn't been given a name yet. Daddy, 60, a small man great thin he is the rich man uh, that mommy married grandma 86 a tiny wizened woman with bright eyes she is the protagonist of the play she married a farmer at the age of 17 her husband died when she was 30 and she raised mommy by herself from there on uh, grandma is at conflict with her family, society, and death. The musician, no particular age, but young would be nice. He does not speak and must be directed to play or stop playing the music. Okay, here is a summary of the play. Uh, Sandbox by Edward Albee is uh, really... Uh, an absurd drama. It unfolds in an interesting, uh, typical way. It begins uh, with uh, daddy and mommy walking into 
a mostly beer stage that has only a sandbox and a young man in the corner with straight you know stretching next grandma enters uh, babbling like a small baby she is flushed in the sandbox by mommy and she begins to speak incoherently a musician is called on stage to play a clarinet in between these scenes mommy and daddy discuss her stage and talk about um, her as if she is not there uh, they begin to really ignore her and in between she converses with the young man doing calisthenics in the corner he eventually takes her away to death okay uh, this brief play is written by edward alby uh, he was a prominent american uh, in memory of his grandmother okay uh, it gives us a symbolic suggestion from which one has to draw meaning from the play the characters mommy and daddy must wait out till their lives and the young man who is an angel of death so the nature of death the play points out of indifference to love pity and other feelings there are five main characters as i already mentioned a uh, daddy uh, mommy uh, grandma uh, musician and the young man it is the scene of a brightest day with a few chairs and a large sandbox with a toy fell and shovel in the stage uh, doing side mommy and daddy enter the stage and finding the beach a uh, warm decide to bring grandma there and put her in the sandbox this action amazes grandma and uh, she also feels frightened daddy and mommy sit uh, in one side and wait for her death when grandma starts banging the fell and shouts uh, mommy tells her to keep quiet hearing this grandmother throws a shovel full of sand at her by which she is surprised grandma starts telling about the treatment she is getting from her daughter by which um, she is not satisfied she tells how she was married at the uh, age of 17 to a farmer who died when she was 30 how hard it was for her to raise her only child alone Uh, the musician plays uh, the music from time to time the night time comes and there is a continuous rumble hearing it mummy begins to weep uh, believing that the time has come to grandma and all the lights go out except one and the music also stops when the light comes up again they find grandma lying on her side still on the sandbox half covered with sand mommy and daddy believe grandma to be dead and say that they must put away their terrors and stop mourning to face the future which was their duty they go out of the stage then grandma tries to sit up but can't do so the young man who is an, the angel of death comes over kisses his grandma uh, on the forehead and tells her that he had come for her hearing this grandma smiles and tells him that he has a good quality then there is a long pause uh, the musician continues to play and the curtain comes down this is the summary of the sandbox boy american playwright edward alby So we discuss the summary in English now it's time to talk about the summary in Nepali Yo yo balua bhariyeko bakas Edward Albi ko euta natak ho ekanki natak yo natak ma hamile jun theater of the absurd bancha yo यस्तै व्यतिथिहरू लाई चाहिँ एउटा प्रस्तुत गर्ने एउटा थिएटर बिसौँ शताब्दीमा प्रचलित एक खालको जुन एउटा ना नाट्य परम्परा छ त्यो नाट्य परम्परालाई चाहिँ यहाँ पन्ध्र मिनेटको नाटक 
को एकांकी नाटक को प्रस्तुति करने क्रम में यहाँ अब लेखक ले पात्र औरो मम्मी आमा अने डैडी उसको सिरबांस हो तेज पची ग्रैंडमा अजूर आमा अने यंग मैन र म्यूजिशियन करी पांच जाना पात्र औरो लाई चाहिए प्रोग्राम्स किस वाला बंदा करे ये उटी बुड़ी है ना उन्हें छः सी वर्ष की वृद्धा चन अन्य उन लाय उनको मृत्यु तो अब एक दिन पक्के बने आओ जा तरह से उनकी छोरी रंग का दुआ इले पहले नहीं उस लाय जाएं वो लोग नमर दे उसको बालू आपको बाक्स में राह दिए रहा अन्य त्यो बुड़ी लाय जाएं मृत्यु तरफ धकल दे चन बिचारा यह बुआरी ले सोगारी बन्नु पन छाई ना अब उनको छोरी ले जे चांचे त्यो कुरा जुआई ले मानचा त्यो जुआई टिंगरी था और यह जाइए उल्ले सिरमती ले जे बन्चे त्यो मानचे यो परिवार मान जाइए उसको सिरमती आवी चे ये लड़के से बंदा करे उनको ये आजुरा में जोशन उन्हें छः सी बर्षीय पात्र उन अब उन्हें अने तो ये वाला बच्चा पायन तो जून केटी आइले पचपन ना वर्ष की चाहिए महिला था उनकी छोरी हो जो आइले आपने आमला पटक का चाहिए देखना चाहिए ना रहा ये बुड़ी चाहिए चाने मार दिए उन्हें बने रहा जून दे ला रहा चाहिए बालू वाले भरी एको बागसान ला रहा चाहिए उसको मृत्यु कर रहा बसे ये यो जोन मम्मी बननी पात्र सम आमा त्यो तीस वर्ष की हूँ दा उसको सिरमान पीती से क्या था उसको सत्र वर्ष में बिया करे वाले पाकी छोरी और इले आमा जाइ लाइ देखना साउथ दिन आमा लाइ जाइ चाने अनु उसको सिरमान उले जीव बने ते मान सा ये तो परिवार में उले लाइ जाइ अब कस्तु यारा ये को दिश्चिकोण ले पाल इल्ले जाए माया ना माने को रावण से खाना पीना ना दिए को स्वस्थ से आर ना करे को सब पे ही जाए वड़ा दृष्टि कोण ही जाए नकारात्मक दृष्टि कोण भागो वृद्धा ला सम्मान करने में ना अपमान करने खाल को जाए पात्रा यो अपने ही छोरी ले बुआरी ले ना अपने ही छोरी ले करे को करा यो नाटक मात्र देखा ही सासुला ये पे सासुर ससुरा लाते हैं खाना देना लाऊना देना सम्मान करेना मन जामा उनका आमना ही छोरा ये छोरा ले ने जो इटिंगरे भाई बनने था अब छोरी ले बनी आ खास से ही पोइटिंगरे ना भाई का ना अब सुश्री मान ले जेब बनने तो मान ना मानी करना उल्ले परिवार में आप हावी बोरा जेब मन लागते त्य तर वो ये वाला निर्या पात्र के रूप में पोस्टेड था। अब ये एकांक की मैं प्रतिकात्मक रूप से मृत्यु स्वीकार्य को करा बताइए कुछ। छः सी वर्ष की बिरिद आजू राम वाले आप ही ले केटे केटे को को बालुआ रखने बाहर बटर साबिल द्वारा बालुआ जगी आप ही ले पूरे को करा दिखाइए था। मृत्यु अप्रिय था तर बाबूरा आमा नाम का पात्रा जो डैडी रा मम्मी बनी चन नहीं है आ पात्रा ले अजूरा आमा लाए बालुआ को बाहर में रखी दिन चन जो बाकस में उन्हीं त्यैं अन्य उनको अपने छोरी जो है ले बात ना ना दिए को मारे रामरो व्यवहार ना दे है को मैं ती बुड़ी माँ वाले वड़ा तो जो 25 वर्ष को यु आप उपर तो नराम रूप व्यवहार देखा को करा उन्हें जो नाटक में प्रस्तुत कर रहा है बाबू राम आप पात्रा का बीच में कौन है माया रूप प्रेम भागो जैसे देखने फेरी बाइंगरे माया प्रेम चारे यो बुड़ी लाई जाएं धागल देखने इन्हर को बुड़ी लाई लहाड़े पचे इन्हर को पीछ में बाइंगर जाएं हमारे परिवार जो श्रीमान और श्रीमाती को बीच में प्रेम होना पार नहीं हो प्रेम भावना आऊना पार नहीं हो तो इस तो खाल को कुरा कानी होना पार नहीं हो अब जैन योजना भविष्य को योजना होना पार नहीं हो तो क्या पंच है ना अरे विशुद्ध निरस अर्थहीन यो एब्सर्ड थिएटर अथवा थिएटर एब्सर्ड को जैन वाला कैरेक्टरिस्टिक पंच हो 
एटा यो खाले नाट्य जो परंपरा अथवा नाट्य विधान अब नाट्य नाट्य शैली नाटक लेखी तेरी थिएटर में प्रस्तुत करे ती नाटक को अर्थ नहीं अनर्थ अर्थहीन छीवन शून्य निसार अर्थहीन छूल्यहीन छे को संबंध रित्तो एक अर् को बीच में तस्त संबंध छेन एटा व्यक्तिवाद हावी अब ये यहाँ भे यो बीसों शताब्दी बने को सब अर्थहीनता को गंजागोल को अवस्था हो वर पर प्रस्तुत करना खोजे नाटककार ने अमा पात्र को सोचाई में बुढ़ी हजुरा में मर्न पर्च उनको मृत्यु में शोक मना रुन पर्ने आवश्यकता छेन क्योंकि उन्नी छियासी वर्ष की उन्नी तो परिवार में आ आवश्यक छेन तस्ता आवश्यक नभाग पात्र काली राखने मानेला काली राखने भाई सोच होगा तर आमा प्रति जो मतृभावना मतृ कर्तव्य कर्तव्य बोध छेन सुन्न तो बहु ते बेला में मर रो आमा कति दुख ने पार ते हुर्का अब यो अवस्थ में लिया उसे तो आपने आमा प्रति को दायित्व कें भूले तो आमा को प्रति को दायित्व भूले तो दायित्व बोध नो मे को प्रवृत्ति प्रति यहाँ एट खाल व्यंग्य ये नाटक ने करना खोजा अब उन्हीं अब जो तो आमा मरी सके ती बाबू रमा जो छोरी रुआईले अब आप भविष्य को बाटो हे बांच् पर्च यो नहीं हम कर्तव्य हो मृत्युसंग नतर्सी न डराई सहज रूप में ग्रहण करने क्षमता राख् पर्च मृत्यु आखिर चाह मृत्यु भी एक खाल उत्सव हो जसरी जन्म जन्म उत्सव हो मर्दा खेल उत्सव होने सो तेरी उत्सव को रूप में विवास कर सट्टा यहाँ चाहे जबरदस्ती बालुआ को बाकास में लगे आएर जिंदगी देखि उदासीन भर चाहे चाँड नहीं अब यह मृत्यु घर का परिवारसंग आपतरसंग सब टाड़िए मृत्यु रोज् पर्ने मृत्यु साथी बना पर्ने मृत्युस समझौता करूर्ने है यो खाल अवस्था आने को विड़ंबना हो तर बीसों शताब्दी को एटा विशेषता नहीं अगले को सज अजिक श्रृंखला पारिवारिक श्रृंखला मानवीय संबंध मूल्य सब निराश भैस अवस्था में यहाँ चाहे छोरी ने ज्वाई ने अब तो छियासी वर्ष पुगे सा सासूला अथवा आमाला वास्ता करेन भन्न में कुछ अनौठो छेन तर पश्चिमिया को में स्वाभाविक देखि क्यों अक्तिवाद बड़ी हावी संपत्ति बड़ी स्वाथ बड़ी पारिवारिक दायित्व तो छेन जिम्मेवारी छेन एक अर् अर् भनला रही भनला छेन कसा समझाने वाला भी छेन सारा कुरा के यहाँ ये बड़ा रोचक पर तरीका यो जीवन को मूल्य कस्तो रही जीवन में कसरी हेरे मृत्युस कसरी चाहे मानेला जबरदस्ती घचेड़ खोजा भाई कुछ भी यहाँ देखा खोजा ओके दैट्स अल विथ द डिस्कसन अफ द सैंड बक्स इन नेपाली नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट क्रिटिकल एनालिसिस द प्ले राइट एडवर्ड एल बी डिस्क्राइब्स हिज वर्क एज एन एक्जामिनेशन अफ द अमेरिकन सीन एंड अटैक ऑन द सब्सटिट्यूशन अफ आर्टिफिशियल फर रियल भैल्यूज इन आवर सोसाइटी कंडेमनेशन अफ कंप्लैसेंसी क्रुअल्टी एंड इमेस्क्युलेसन एंड भैक्युटी Uh, a stand against the fiction that everything in this slipping land of ours is peachy keen the sandbox by edward alvey is a play that conveys an underlying message of elder decay uh, senility and death the characters of the play each uh, take a personal outlook and each with a role in life the play is hard to understand Each person has to pull out his or her own meanings. The large sandbox in the middle is meant to symbolize a coffin and its permanent nature of keeping someone inside. Grandma's babbling and incapable state of the newborn and the elderly alike. The musician plays a song throughout, a song that mommy and daddy upon whose The young man in the corner stretches and talks to the old woman. He symbolizes death, as is proven by his words in his conversation with the old woman. 
uh, he says the things that allude to his purpose without mommy and daddy wait for grandma's death and console her to be quiet the grandmother starts saying to audience uh, about the plight of an old woman she recalls how she was married in the age of 17 and now how she is dumped in pile of sand uh, to wait for death remembering yearning of the past her former life and how uh, she raised the cow lonesome she also speaks with great compassion to the young man who himself is the angel of death mommy and daddy ignore her as many people do when they don't want to deal with their elderly parents of young children in the end when the young man takes grandma away from mommy and daddy there is unspoken death uh, they had taken for granted everything meant to them uh, they had uh, spent their time and money uh, on themselves denying her everything she needed and wanted uh she stayed in the sandbox the sandbox never again opened and uh, they never saw her again so she sat like a small child uh, covering herself in sand uh, in essence digging her own grave the music symbolizing her life ends albi expresses his feelings of disappointment regarding uh the way our society treats the elderly Uh, he cleverly conveys his ideas and opinions in the form of an allegory. After reading the play once through, it seems humorous and uh, almost silly. If you picture the literal meaning of the grandmother being thrown into the sandbox with a toy shovel, a young man doing uh, calisthenics and emotionless bickering between mummy and daddy however after looking closer at the play uh, one finds deeper and more depressing meaning uh, in this bizarre drama albi portrays mummy and daddy as uh, self involved and selfish people who cannot be bothered with grandmother mummy is the most dominant of the pair and finds it to be the second nature to direct daddy and take charge to their actions grandma seems to be at the mercy of mommy and daddy and sarcastically relays the story of how poorly she is treated and uh, she is treated not by her son in law but by her daughter herself and what are the major themes here uh, materialism and im- empty family relations there is unhappy relationship with the family except grandmother so there is no good relationship uh, among family members and family disintegration the failure of the american dream he used the moral and spiritual damage inflicted upon people by an excess of material wealth and misguided uh, pursuit of the american dream uh, in this uh, play short play broken communication the works express what happens when human existence has no meaning or purpose and therefore all communication breaks down in fact altering the, their audience to pursue the opposite uh, logical construction and argument gives uh, gives way to irrational and illogical speech and uh, to its ultimate conclusion that silence and the deteriorating values of society the deteriorating values of the society uh, all the norms and values all the social traditions established manners all these have broken down and uh, everyone has become selfish and no responsibility no accountability no uh, no care no empathy no sympathy whatever whatever all these things just focusing on self and self driven selfish and mannerless that's all with the discussion of um, this uh, sandbox by edward alvey i'm sure you got the point uh, if you have any queries uh, please put your ideas in my comment box i shall be back uh, with other educational videos uh, please 
if you are not the subscriber of my channel please uh, subscribe it and uh, share it with your friends and fellows